Just leaving the gas station. Road treat. Roadhouse. <laughs> One day, as soon as we uh, get moved up to Sterling, which I'm hoping probably before the end of this month, so we're here within the next week or two, <coughs> start working out. Pump. Wait. I'm so sick of not working out. It ain't even funny. But, all right, you guys. Oh, hey, um, first thing. A lot of people asking how to get a hold of me. Guys, scopefieldwelding at gmail.com. Um, you can email me there. Uh, <coughs> Instagram, scopefield1990. And uh, scopefield is S-C-H-O-F-I-E-L-D. Uh, where else we got it? Facebook, Jacob Scopefield. YouTube, Jacob Scopefield. We read all the comments you guys put on you, uh, YouTube. Oh yeah, we read everything, you guys. We try to get back to you guys as fast as we can, and hopefully, hopefully we do get back in like decent time to you guys. Sometimes I don't get the notification that somebody wrote me. So, anyways, <coughs> um, oh, we got some sweet hats showing up. Yeah, we're super <laughs> pumped about them. They're gonna be super good looking. But anyways, uh, the book. Lies is still working on editing all of those and uh, getting them ready for everybody. And uh, hopefully they help everyone out. This is your left right here. Um, <laughs> another thing. Hopefully this Saturday, depending on if we got to work or not, guys. I know everybody wants to see a branch layout. Everybody wants to see how one's laid out by hand and then how to fit one up. Whoo! It is a process. It is a freaking marathon. They give you all day to do that test. Mm. I can usually have a 2 inch uh, schedule 160, a 12 inch 375 wall, and you a 12 inch do. branch done by about 1 o'clock. But what that's like working my butt off. What? We should do a whole video on what those even are. Because even I am like, I know what a branch is. But when you start getting into the schedule 180s and the... Oh, 160s and yeah, stuff? Yeah, everything else, I'm like, okay, <coughs> some of them are at angles, some of them are straight up, some of them are flat. Yeah. I will, uh... I'll, I'll try to walk you guys through, like, a mock test. Mm -hmm. Let that me tell you, you right that. now, I seriously do not want to do that. You can be the asshole inspector and I'll just pretend like I'm the welder. There you go. Out. I'm going to be the inspector and Jed's going to be the welder. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh anyways um so i i am gonna wind up going and laying out a test for you guys and and hopefully getting that all put together for you uh oh another thing guys send us your ideas on what you want to see in videos and stuff i mean we got welding pictures and stuff the only thing is <clears throat> i get a little nervous taking video and pictures like of around the job site uh neighbors in north dakota run me off of that job because i took pictures of a couple pipe stands that i'd built and they flipped said i was giving away crucial information so i don't want to get run off a job for taking pictures and stuff but i do try to you're going to see a piece of pipe in the picture and the back side of a hoop <laughs> yeah that's it. that's it guys like and everything that's written on the back side was not us. Yes, we don't ride on the hooches. But, like, that's that's kind of my thing. I try not to get any of the facility involved in the pictures and and all of that. I just kind of, what we're working on is what I record and take pictures of and stuff. Uh, that way, I don't get in trouble with anybody. And uh, <clears throat> But at the same time, you guys still kind of get an idea of what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we need to talk about today? We're going to talk about me being an employee of the company and Jacob mm. being a split check. Straight contract. Straight contract. Okay, guys, we're going to talk to you about the difference between straight contract and split check welders. Uh, a split check welder is an employee welder. Um, they get paid in three different ways. That's why it's called a split check. <coughs> you get a certain amount for, the. they call it on the arm. A certain amount on the arm so whatever you get paid uh, to weld so 
anywhere from 30 to 55 bucks an hour. Um, and then they call it rig pay. And that's, that's the second part of what your paycheck is. So you're making, say you're making $40 an hour on the arm is what they'll say. Uh, then you get anywhere from 14 to $18 an hour on the truck. So that means, uh, basically they rent your truck from you. I mean, nobody ever uses it. You're the only one that ever uses it, but, uh, you get, <coughs> so just say they say 16. So it's 40, 16. So you get $40 on the arm, $16 an hour on the truck. $16 an hour, you guys, for owning the truck. So right now you're at 40, 16, you're at $56 an hour. Then, depending on the job, not every job does this. Uh, most of the jobs I've been involved in do it. Uh, they give you per diem or a sub, daily sub, basically. Uh, ranges from anywhere from 50 to, we've had as much as $180 an hour. I mean, not an hour, sorry, $180 a day. And that's from the welder helper, and usually if the welder gets $180 for a per diem.